Hello and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. My name is Tina and I'm here today to talk with you about how I use board games to help support my homeschool curriculum. Now I'm going to be talking about the subject of spelling and language arts. I have about two games that currently that I'm using um, to help on those days to make it fun, make it interesting that goes along with whatever I'm doing in that particular subject. But this is particularly is focusing on um, spelling and language arts. Now, I also have a game called um, Scrabble. I use Wheel of Fortune as well. I have, and I left it in the closet, so I'm sorry. I have Wheel of Fortune and I also use for spelling. That is a unique way it helps them with their mind to help visualize or the, the letters and it's fun and you also work with money as well so it's helping you with math too so I use the Wheel of Fortune board game to do that as well now this is another game oh and Scrabble I use Scrabble too I just forgot and left it up in the closet so I'm sorry but I am going to show you these two it called it is called don't say it basically this um, game is a game where you are working on trying to describe like balloon the top word is balloon and these are the words in which you cannot say in order to describe balloon so you have to think of everything other than these four words to help your teammates to figure out that you are describing a balloon this is super duper good because it helps the kids to think outside the box it helps the child to have fun. And usually these four words are the exact go-to words that you would go to to describe the word that's up here. So it makes you think, like, okay, I can't say these four words. So what else can I use to describe this? And also, another way that I use board games, I use them the way they, the manufacturer intended me to use them. And I also put my own unique spin on it. If you have a child, uh that spelling is not one of them thing, one of their things. This is what I do with my son because he's dyslexic. So I have to look, I always looking for fun and exciting ways to introduce spelling in a non-stressful way. So sometimes I take these cards, being that they already have spelling words. I hand this card to him and I say, here, these are your spelling words for the week. You could do the front and back, but you can do it. I want it done by the end of the week. I give them him a certain amount of things he need to do. Like I want him to write um, sentences with each word. I want him to look it up in a dictionary. I give them different little things to do with these words. Use them in a um, story. And they really like, I said, write a funny story using these words. So that's another way that I use these uh, cards. And it's not the way the manufacturer intended, but it just gives them a fun, unique spin on it. My daughter liked doing that as well. And she come up with some pretty neat stories. I also have this game called Headband. And it's a unique game and fun. Basically, you put the band on. Everybody else that's playing the game can see what you're trying to describe. And you're trying to figure out what's on your card. So you ask them a certain amount of questions these are the sample questions that you can ask them do i have legs could i be a pet you're trying to figure out what it is that you have on your band and they cannot tell you so you got to try to figure out by asking these um questions so this is helping them working with questions helping them to learn how to ask the right question in order to receive the answer that they that they're looking for so it's teaching them good um, logic skills, good um, comprehension skills, good just following through, being able to answer, I mean, ask the right questions to follow through whatever they're trying to get. So it really helps them as well. Um, I will also give this to my son and have him just build sentences, um, build stories. I, I will also have them even though this is not the way the manufacturer intended this to be done, but I also do this as well. Have them take whatever cards, pick them up off the top of the deck, and have them line them up in line and make a story out of it and use a connecting word to connect the story. So I have like, but and 
commas, different stuff like that, and have them connect the store or have them put right on an index card, a word to add in to the sentence to connect these whole stories together. That's what I also do too as well. Um, so these are just some cool things that I use for language arts and spelling uh, to give a new twist, to give it a little fun, give it a little flavor for the children so they won't get bored or they won't get like... I just like a lot of different things to, to help um, foster their creativity. So I want to tell you a little tidbit about what I do with that and how I use board games to support my spelling and language arts. These are just two of them, but like I said, I was talking to you about Scrabble and I also own Wheel of Fortune board game and it is totally awesome. So if you want a stress-free way to incorporate those subjects on your low-key days, this would be a great option. Again, this is Tina from Lecture Academy. Have a good day. Bye.